guys this is Rosa Kelly so I'm super excited today to present to you my new sprint series this is going to be a series of quick and easy tutorials that you can get done in no time so hopefully I can inspire you to get your supplies out and get crafting right along with me um, so as a special challenge to myself I decided to create the whole series using only one paper pack so I think that's gonna be super fun and interesting and so yeah very excited also if you are subscribed to my magazine for the 2020 year you are gonna get all the projects that you see on this series as a special edition on the magazine everything will be there step by step with pictures and everything so super excited if you are not yet subscribed to my magazine i'm gonna have a link down below and if you don't feel like subscribing this would also be a special edition that you can buy on its own but anyway let me show you what i did for my first project i am using um, the woodline and wings paper collection um, this is one of the michael's hot by papers that i picked up not too long ago i'll be using on this paper pad for the whole collection you can definitely use whatever you have on your stash and make it anything you like now these papers um this paper pack comes with 48 sheets so uh, i think that's my challenge right there to stay under those 48 sheets so here is my project i decided to make a double accordion fold little uh, mini book or booklet and i think it's super cute so adorable love the size this measures seven and a half by four and a half and i added a little bit of stitching a little bit of distress to give it some interest there is a layer of chipboard in between and most importantly there is a lot of room for pictures on this little cutie so let me show you the inside so this will open up with this little ribbon closure and like i said it is a double accordion fold so it will just simply open up to both sides like this giving you all kinds of room for pictures now i just went ahead and matted everything but you can probably just get away with adding your pictures right onto these pages and saving even more design paper that way you can just put your picture and a little bit of your design paper if you don't feel like um, you're seeing so much paper so i think on this album um, you can hold two four six eight uh, 16 and then two more here so 18 pictures 18 full size four by six pictures more of course if you crop your pictures which i'll probably do because i just love printing small tiny pictures on my selfie canon so so yeah so that is my project for today i will play the tutorial right now i hope you guys come back tomorrow for another quick and easy project oh also i almost forgot to tell you this <laughs> series is also going to be a giveaway so make sure that you are first of all over 18 years old subscribe to my channel make sure that you are subscribed to my vlog channel as well and leave a comment on the comment section down below i will be picking two winners from all the days on this series but you definitely uh, want to try to comment as much as you can because you never know which video is going to be the one where I picked the winner from. And my prize is going to be some of the projects that you'll be seeing during this series. So I hope that you guys are excited. But most importantly, I hope that you guys craft right along with me. And now I'm going to leave you to the tutorial. Okay, so to make this project, we are going to be using one of the 12 by 12 uh, paper collections. I am using this Woodland and Winds from the Michael's Hat Buy. This is something that I picked up uh, not too long ago, and I just love the happy spring colors. You can use any paper pack that you have on your stash. So I'm going to be using one paper collection for the whole series, and that is because, number one, I want to challenge myself and create 
a lot of projects using just one paper pack basically finish the whole pack um, and also I want to show you that uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to do crafting this paper pack was probably about six dollars and you'll see how far we can take it also I want to build like a little mini collection and I want all my pieces to coordinate I just love doing that so this is also why I want to use just one paper you don't have to use this one you can have use anything you have on your stash also i am going to be using some 110 pound cardstock and i actually just picked a new pack so i'm going to show you what i'm going to be using this is also from michael's so we are going to start with one piece of that heavyweight cardstock and we are going to cut this at nine and a half by seven and a half and this is going to be the base of the little accordion booklet um, so we are going to now score let's start with the base and then we'll do the inside pages so um, i'm going to grab my scoreboard here and we are going to score at four and a half and five inch and then we're going to fold along the score lines we're just gonna do one side and the other one as well okay so now we're gonna put this aside and i'm now going to cut two pieces of cardstock actually we're going to need four but we're gonna start we're gonna do two at a time so I'm also going to cut these two pieces at seven and a half by nine inches okay so like I said we are going to need four so I'm just gonna do two more and we're now going to score these pieces at four and a quarter and at eight and a half Okay, so I'm gonna put that one aside and do the same for all of these pieces. So now we're gonna fold along the score lines on these four pieces and you're gonna see how quick and simple we are going to put this together. So we're gonna grab two and simply um, glue them against each other. So I'm going to use this little half an inch flap and just connect the two like this. You can use double-sided tape or you can use glue to do this step. So I'm just using my glue here and I'm just gonna join them together. Okay, so I have two pieces and now I'm going to do the same with the other two pieces. So now that I have the two pieces put together, I am grabbing my base again and I am simply going to glue one on each side. So I'm going to add my glue on this little flap and I'm just going to join it along this side just like this and then we are going to do the other one on the other side. So there you go, now we have the two accordion uh, fold pieces added into our base and that was super, super quick and simple. Now before I add my paper and decorate this, I'm going to be using some ribbon or lace to um, uh, keep it all tied together. So I'm going to just simply wrap this all around my book and I'm going to glue it. I'm just gonna add my lace before I add the paper that is going to be on my cover. So I'm just gonna do the same on this other side. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut this off right there. So to decorate the cover, I'm going to be using these sheets here. I'm going to start with one at four and a quarter by seven and a quarter and this is going to be for the front cover so we're gonna do two of these pieces so four and a quarter oops um and then these two are going to be cut at seven and a quarter and these are going to go straight onto the cover 
like this this one is going to go on the back then i know i want to use this little bird over here that says dreams come true so i'm going to cut this piece and now let's cut this again just like that oops let me cut this a little bit more and then to create a little bit of layering i'm going to be using this other design that way we have a little bit of um, interest around i'm going to trim this just a little bit smaller just like that and we're also going to do the side okay and now i'm going to cut a piece a little bit larger than that but i think three and three quarters should be good and there you go yeah and it doesn't have to be exact you can um, do it whichever way you like to do it i'm just trying to create a little um, window layering or something like that so maybe i'll cut this at four and a half because i know i don't want to cover my mushrooms so maybe a little bit smaller okay so just something like this and then this piece here on top so i'm going to glue these pieces together first and then i am going to do some stitching to give it a pretty little frame around uh, but definitely um, the stitching is optional you don't have to do it okay so i think i think i'm gonna stitch around this so here's the piece that i added just a little bit of stitching around i'm also going to go ahead and distress just simply by uh, ripping a little bit of the edge of the page here and I'm just gonna go all the way around and I'm also going to do the same for this other piece okay so here's the piece and now I'm just simply going to glue this onto the cover and I'm just gonna add it right there and then I'm going to use some of my scrap pieces of of chipboard to create a little bit of dimension before I add this other piece on top that is of course optional you don't have to use uh, the chipboard you can glue it right onto your cover uh, and so I'm just gonna place this on the back like that and now we're gonna place this piece right here and there you go super quick and simple i hope that you guys enjoy this uh, little tutorial i think this is super adorable to give as a gift and to keep as a you know, little souvenir of any trip or anything like that um, i hope you guys come back tomorrow for another quick and easy tutorial i want to thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye